I wish it wasn't Sunday because if it was not a Sunday then we could go to Hobby Lobby and they have all their fall decor on sale right now. We've been in this store for literally like three minutes and I lost Mark and I have all this stuff in my hands. <laughs> We just got back from the gym, which is like our third day in a row. Yeah. We've been crushing it. Crushing it. We actually did the- I feel like we're doing so good we don't have to go back. <laughs> Three days in a row. <laughs> we're done. Calories we quit. For the year. We quit. Don't have to do it till next year. Oh my gosh, wouldn't that be nice? <laughs> I wish that was our lives. <laughs> It's just not. Um, actually, I wanted to update you guys too on like where I'm at with like my health journey. And let me tell you what, it's July. If you guys remember before I said, oh my July, I lost all my weight. No, I, I have not kept up with it very well. Um, I've been bad. <laughs> actually, my mom and I were doing so good when we were going to our water classes, but then we got all of our piercings and we couldn't go to our water classes anymore because you're not allowed to swim for like 30 days. So yeah, that kind of sucks. But um, we're almost up on that 30 days. So anyway, Mark and I have just been going to the gym and doing some cardio for at least 30 minutes a day. It's not much, but it's something. It's something that we can fit into our schedules and that's all that matters. Um, other than that, I try to go for walks in the morning if I can. So I'm still like doing good. Yeah, I'm doing good. And we did a really cute thing last night and we started, um, what, do you, what do you call it? I've really been wanting to journal. So we started a health journal, and my his is gonna be like his own little health journal, but mine is going to be like a journal. Like, I feel like I need to journal, and I've been feeling like that for a while now. And I got these really cute ones from Target. I will link them for you guys, just so you know, like anything that I ever can link, I do. It's always in the description box of my videos. Um, and if you need a link and I don't have one in there, just write me, just send me a message or leave a comment and I will always um, respond to you guys. So anyway, look how cute these journals are. I got this one. I have one more. I don't know where I put it. Anyway, I'll find it here once I clean my house. Imagine that. So we're gonna eat some lunch really quick. Mark is making spicy tuna ramen. Spicy tuna ramen. And I'm gonna make turkey tacos which I haven't had in a hot minute, so I'm very excited about that. Oh, but I don't have any lettuce. Yes, you do. Your garden. Go show them. I you do! You lettuce out of your garden. I do! You are right! Let me show you guys. Duh, I'm getting used to like having food like readily available and t like tacos. Like that's always one thing I don't have on hand. I'm like, I don't have lettuce. But I do. Look at my garden. I just took the lights, I turned the lights off so that way you guys can actually see it because it messes with the <laughs> my camera. But I have actually so many things in here, duh. I have lettuce like everywhere. And look at these cute tomatoes. <gasps> I'm so excited. Like ah, they're little cherry tomatoes and there's more back there. Look at them, oh my gosh. And then over here I have some sweet peppers coming in. I've got jalapenos, I've got kale, I've got all the things on here so I think I'll just pick some and eat some because they're definitely ready like I can totally harvest whatever I want at this point this is my cilantro <gasps> we could put cilantro on my tacos and I have dill I'm not gonna put dill on my tacos but I also have basil which smells so freaking good oh my gosh it smells incredible I want to make some um, <laughs> some bruschetta once my tomatoes come in I was telling Mark I'm so excited oh my gosh it's going down I might have to go to the store and just at least get the ingredients so I can use my basil. My code is gonna be active with them for a while. I think it's code HOMESTEAD. It will get you $100 off your order um, for a garden. So, yay, love that. It's such a cool thing. Yeah, it is I'm really excited cool. for the tomatoes to be done. I know, we do. the peppers. Yeah. But like, I guess we could just keep planting lettuce and we don't need lettuce ever yet. I know, <laughs> it's so weird to us. Like, bizarre, because so cool. I've never had a garden. Like, I do not have a green thumb at all. And look at that thing. It lights itself, it waters itself, Amazing takes care of itself. Is that good? Really? Yeah. These Is are, that a Costco find for you? Yeah, these are dried shiitake mushrooms that are... Um, You're just eating them? Zested, yeah. They're lightly cooked what? and seasoned. They're like got Lowry seasoning Shut salt them. on it. Let me see. Look, it's no, so good. I'm not eating that. I'm telling you, I am taste. not eating that. It's so good. I don't like mushrooms, first of all, and second of all, no. Mm. Very crunchy. No. What's with you not following commands? I don't know what is her deal. She's getting so old that because I think she's, what, 13 or 14 this yeah, year? Yeah, look at her. Getting great. She now starts not doing exactly what we say. 
And I think it's because she'll sit and contemplate for a second on like, will they give up calling for me or not? Yeah, that's mm. kind of like her new favorite thing. She's not listening, she hasn't been like listening She's to not us. doing anything bad, she just won't get up. She's just old. <laughs> She's like, I don't want to move, I'm old. Like, and we've been able to tell lately that she just kind of, um, like if she gets up, it's just kind of hard for her a little bit. Yeah. It's making us really sad, because we know she's old. We've had her for a really, really, really long time, and she's like our yeah. little our little family. I don't want to think about it. She's just going to live forever. I know. I don't want to live. I don't she's even want to think about it. She's just going to live forever. But lately, she's just been like, I don't care. You know? <laughs> you call her, and she's like, I don't care. The other day, she went, she literally, well, I was. Wake up. Oh, that was so scary. That was so scary. scary. So she, literally, she was whimpering in her sleep. She was like having a bad dream. And then all of a sudden we like shook her. She didn't open her eyes yeah. or stop. And then I opened her eyes literally. and she still didn't wake up. It was so And then weird. we shook her again. We kind of thought up. for a second maybe she was having a seizure. Yeah. But she, but she, she wasn't. She didn't wake up for like three minutes and then when she did wake up it We was thought like, she died. It was weird. It was the strangest thing. Maybe she did die but we revived her. Maybe. Just shake, no, no just CGR. Like, <laughs> just. Shaking the dog. Shaking How do you save your dog? Shake the dog. Shake the dog. Shake the dog, baby. Shake know. the dog. It was so scary. It was. It was very scary. Yeah. She would knock it out. I'm lost in your energy. You got me feeling weightless, no gravity. You think I should wash this? It feels weird because I don't like. There's no. There's. There's no pesticide. Like I know right where. There's nothing on it. So. Maybe Which is like, it that's so cool that, I mean, I know right where it came from, you know. My tacos were incredible. The cilantro was so fresh. That was the freshest cilantro I've ever had. Anyway, I wanted to share with you guys really quick as I make some afternoon iced coffee. <sighs> That's part of my routine, you guys. I always have to have iced coffee in the afternoon. Um, so I wanted to show you guys what I do because I get a lot of questions about it. So. Well, wait, did you make me one? I can make you one. You want one? You don't love this. Her iced coffees are really good. They are really good. <laughs> um, so. I just use the Starbucks Blonde Roast Iced Coffee. Some people say these are expensive. They're like, I think they're up to like $7 now. Um, but still, like that's, this is usually at least like three, maybe almost four iced coffees for me, so it's pretty good. Anyway, and then I just do the um, Shamrock, specifically Shamrock, okay? This is my favorite one. Um, the Rich and Creamy Half and Half. And I just do a little bit of that. I like to use these cups. My dad had these made for me. They're so cute. And they say Reed Head Homestead on them. I love them. Anyway, so I am just kind of dump some in there. It's usually about like two tablespoons is kind of my equivalent. And then I use two little packets of Stevia in the raw. That's it. That's it. So it's really low calorie compared to like going to Starbucks because what is it? Two tablespoons is 40 calories and then... 12 fluid ounces is only 10 calories. It's like basically no calories, you know? So, um, really, really low calorie, and it's just my, like my favorite part of the day. So, I also wanted to show you guys how cute. I was out shopping with my sisters recently, and we were at Home Goods, and they had this cup, and I just about died. It was like one of those moments I was like, so this one is a Hydra Peak. I tried to look online and they don't have them. Um, they don't have that color anymore specifically, which like, look at how cute. I mean, seriously. Um, they don't have that color anymore. So I found on Amazon, they have the Simple Modern brand. It is the exact same color cup. It, it's almost the exact style. The handle's just a little bit different and the straw placement's different. I ordered one, it just came. I'd show you guys, but it's in the sink. I have to wash it. That's part of my chores today. I ordered three different colors. So they're really, really cute. And I've just been enjoying this. Like ever since I bought it, I've been using it every single day. And it's 40 ounces. You would think that it would be like really heavy, but it's not. So I'll link, link it down below for you guys. Anyway, so I'm gonna get a shower first before I clean my house. I feel like that sounds so backwards, <laughs> but I just feel like I wanna go shower um, from being at the gym and everything. Like I just, eh. I wanna go shower and blow dry my hair and like give myself a little blow dry blowout situation. 
I rarely do that. So today that's part of my self care. And then we're gonna clean this house. I'm actually really looking forward to cleaning. <laughs> when I just am not wearing, I don't wanna wear a lot of makeup. <laughs> I have been actually really enjoying this Summer Fridays. It's just a sheer skin tint and let's see if it will, yeah, there we go. Um, I really like it, it's been in my makeup bag so <laughs> it's a little bit dirty but I don't wanna put like a bunch of makeup on or anything so I'm just going to apply this and it just gives me like just enough coverage to cancel out some of my redness and kinda of cover up my dark circles so just a little bit, not a whole lot, you know? Just enough to make you feel like, okay, I can go run some errands, I can go to the grocery store, I can do a couple things, you know, and not feel like my face is just totally, totally bare. So, yeah, I've been really, really, really liking it. so much better oh my goodness do I feel better <laughs> just feels better to be like put together a little bit you know um, I wish it wasn't Sunday because if it was not Sunday then we could go to Hobby Lobby and they have all their fall decor on sale right now so if it was not Sunday that's where we would be because that's what I feel like doing but we can't so I did go there um, earlier this week and tried to do a little bit of shopping, but I was so disappointed because the Hobby Lobby by me didn't have like all the fall decor out. So even though I've been seeing it come out slowly but surely, it still was not all the way out yet. So I was like, okay, I'll give you guys another week and then we'll try again. I did get one pumpkin and I did get a new um, art print for my office. I'll show you that. Okay, look at how cute this pumpkin is oh my gosh i'm so obsessed and then you can put a little candle in the back so it glows that's really what sold me on it was putting the little candle back there because i know it would be so cute lit up and i figured it would just look adorable on my entryway or in my kitchen somewhere i just love it i'm so excited for fall this year i just don't know what theme i want to do i have to think about it i have to like get on pinterest and do some searching and figure out what theme I want to do because last year I did like all neutrals. I didn't do any of like the oranges. I tried to stay as neutral as I possibly could, but this year like I might want to go all fall, like all fall out. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, let it all fall out. I don't know. I think I might want to do some of the oranges, but I haven't decided yet. So I need to do some research. Anyway, I'm just so excited for fall. I also got this really pretty print behind me. It's actually canvas. I don't always love canvas, but it was framed really nicely. So I love the way it looks in here. And it just had the like slightest amount of blue in it that it just needed for the space to kind of match with the shiplap that I have in here. Anyway, I just love it. I've been looking for something in here for a really long time. It's time to start cleaning. I'm gonna start in the kitchen. It's not too bad. I just kind of have a few things out. It's the dining room that really needs some help and I gotta wash sheets, do all the things. Let's go. I want you. My mom and I were out 
whiteboard shopping, which is like so random, but that's what we were doing if you guys saw that video. Then you probably saw me buy two uh, lamps for my living room. I had been looking for floor lamps for like forever, literally forever, and I was so excited to find those. I brought them home, I lived with them for a couple days, and then I decided I didn't like them, so I took them back, and I ended up buying some other ones that I had my eye on from Target, and they are perfect in here. They're so pretty. They are a really nice height. I love that the shade on top is a really good size, so they don't look cheap or anything. They actually look way more expensive than they were, but I love them. They are beautiful in here, and they were perfect for this space. I feel like they could work in any space because they're just really simple, but I love them. 10 out of 10. Someday you'll call this home. It feels so incredible to have the house clean. And I love going to dinner and then coming back and the house is clean. I didn't have to clean. You didn't even have to pick up a finger. <laughs> Just love you. Okay, we're gonna go get some groceries. It's late, late night grocery shopping. Let's do it. You gotta hurry up. You're in charge of not letting us forget flossers. Hey babe. Don't forget flossers. <laughs> You're in charge, okay? I just reminded you. We can't forget. You didn't set a time. I only have like seven left, which is like, I'm basically out in my world. I always yeah, have to have flossers. I mean, that's like one hour short. I'm like addicted to flossing like... my teeth. Yeah. Anyway, okay, let's go in. It's 10 o'clock and there's like hardly any cars here. This is the time to come grocery shopping, you know? 10 o'clock on a Sunday night and we should be in bed. I love it. <laughs> Bye, Tiffany. Bye. See you in an hour. We've been in this store for literally like three minutes and I lost Mark and I have all this stuff in my hands and I can't find him and he has the cart. Oh, there you are. I was looking everywhere for you. Look it. Help. Help? <laughs> Help. Hey, they have, um, this is where I get this is like the only place I can find this Burt's Bees lip gloss that I love so much. This is it, they're always sold out on Ulta. If I link it for you guys, you guys sell it out, I swear. It's like I cannot, can not find it ever. And that's the last one. Anyway, did you find them? They don't have <gasps> Don't tell me. Them. Okay, so the only ones that we use for the flossers are Twin Line. The other oh, ones, like my one. teeth just tear them up. They just tear them up. No, we're gonna have to go to Walmart. What is that? It says Kit Kat cereal. What? Nuh uh. And save or more when you. Nuh uh. Save $1 when you buy five boxes. No, don't buy five boxes. Well, it changes no. it down by $1 per no, box. No, don't do that. Don't. No. Just two boxes. <laughs> we're gonna go through these way no, too quick. No, that is not healthy. Kit Kats are my favorite. I will make an exception to try that. Wow. Yummy. Wow. I was watching another YouTuber and she made Avocado toast for breakfast and that used to be like my favorite thing in the world that I had every single day It's my ritual every single morning and I just fell off of it somehow So it looked so good and so I'm getting like all the stuff to make it And then I also wanted to make egg bites so that way I can like eat them throughout the week Because usually they'll keep in the fridge for at least a few days So I like to put I'll show you guys how I make them, but they're so good So I want to have my avocado toast with my egg bites for breakfast I'm literally so excited. Going, going, going all the way. Hey. I lost a cucumber. I didn't mean to. I'll still take it. It'll be okay. To wash it anyway. I have to wash it anyway, right? Why are you so surprised that I want apples? I'm just surprised. I want some. Why would you want apples? I really do. It sounds so good. You know what I've always wondered is. Is a gala apple, is it gala or gala? I think it's gala. 
right? Ooh, honey crisp. You like honey crisp? I do. Okay, get some. Although I like pink ladies, but they don't I like always me. get gala. They're my favorite. So you get these type of apples when you don't prune your apple tree. Look how cute they are. They're tiny, but that's what happens. They call them rocket. They, they tried to market it as like a new apple. They're so cute though. But they're just, they're unpruned apple tree apples. <laughs> so hey, usually you get you big apples, do. you cut off almost everything and you're left with these giant apples. But if you don't prune them enough, you get tiny you apples. get those little babies. They're selling them as a three pound thing for It's a lot bucks. of apples. It's really cute. Well, I guess cute. that's smart marketing. Yes, it is. It's really cute. They have apricots. I am so excited. I love apricots so well, much. Well, you're gonna clear them out of apricots. No, they won't have any apricots anymore. No, I won't. I love them so much. And I can only get them like once a year. But apparently everybody feels the same way too because they're basically gone. But <gasps> look it up. Yes. You know how you pick a banana? You ask it. They're ready to be picked. Do you guys enjoy Mark's humor? I <laughs> only have like three jokes and I reuse them all. You know what? He's always entertaining. Always. I am never bored. Ever. Are you bored with me ever? All the time. Oh, so mean. morning I just finished doing stretches I've been really enjoying on the Fitbit app like if you have the premium membership then they have like different workouts on there and everything and they have so far I found two that are for stretching and I just love it they only take like maybe 10 minutes but it's just such a nice way to kind of wake up and then I feel like ah so much better and like ready to go for the day without doing like a full workout in the morning it's just doing some stretching so I've been really really been enjoying that but what I'm gonna do now is make some egg bites and get ready for the day and I'm just gonna show you guys how I make my egg bites because they are so freaking good and they keep in the fridge for at least like you know I don't know I, four or five days at least Mark and I usually eat through them pretty fast so I've never taken them past that point because we usually just eat them all up but I'm gonna show you guys how dogs no it's not for you I'm gonna end the video here for you guys I hope you've enjoyed this little like kind of feels like a motivation vlog if you will we got the house clean we got grocery shopping done we did a little bit of food prep I'm feeling so good so motivated thank you so much for being here you guys and I will see you in the next video